Hello, good evening all. Welcome to VISP Solutions. Today we are covering SAP Vendor Master Dual Control. So let's start. First of all, what is this? See, there are some sensitive fields in the customer vendor master data, such as payment terms, payment methods, etc. When changes made to such sensitive fields by a junior accountant or any person at subordinate level, then such changes must be confirmed or approved by higher level authority, such as senior accountant or manager. So there are three steps which we need to follow. Three step. First, we need to define sensitive field. The next is changes. Changes to be made in in vendor master. Then confirm when the master. So let's see how to configure this field in SAP. For that, go to SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, then Financial Accounting. Then accounts receivable, accounts payable, vendor, vendor accounts, then master data, then preparation for creating vendor master, and then define sensitive fields for dual control. This is sensitive field. Here we need to define a sensitive field. Account type is K as we are doing for vendors. Okay, vendor. Now click on new entry, field name. Give a field name. See, there are various fields available like telephone, extension, fax, district, language key. But we are doing for payment terms. So standard is LF. B1 LFB1 ZTERM it is for payment terms. Okay, enter. So we have defined payment terms as a sensitive field. Now, save, save. Go back. Now, the next step is to change vendor master. Go to X, XK02. Also, you can go to directly go to BP. Uh, yeah, this is my vendor. This is my vendor name. Enter your company code. Then we are doing it for payment transaction, payment term. So it comes under payment transaction and enter. Okay. Then payment terms. Let's try to change it. Now it is 002. Now we are doing 0001. See, it will pop up a message and try to save it. See, it is uh, the changes for vendor 002 in company code N102 have not yet been confirmed. Okay, click. Okay, so now the next step is to go to FK08. Okay. 
here one thing should be keep in mind that user id of approver must be different than the junior accountant so as this is my training environment that is why i didn't have another user id so i'm just trying to do it by the same id enter see you are not allowed to confirm changes only to display them because i am doing both i can't do both the thing uh, both the things from the same user id okay so see current status to be confirmed so senior accountant or authorized person can either confirm it or refuse it so it can be done from here fk 08 xk02 or you can use pp tico and then fk08 this is how dual control can be done in sap so that's all for today thank you for watching